Here on World Radio Gardening, we rarely show you the result of what we've done in the past. So autumn time, we planted snowdrops here. Uh, these are the snowdrops that were earlier. And these over this side are the planted in the green. And we'll watch those next year to see how they get on. Coming through those, you've got China Doxa. They're a bit slow in coming up, but they are here. Yeah, look, you can see them right down there in the ground. They're all emerging, so we're looking out for those. And then as we move across, you can see, you can see a nice batch of uh, white with the yellow. I can't remember exactly the variety of that. I have to be honest, but you just look at those, aren't they? As treat as they bob in the wind. And then if we walk around here, this is an area that we planted for wild flowers. We've got on this side, you can see them just coming into a bud now. Um, they're Actia. And round here, we've got Tete Tete with a backing of wild plants coming in the background there. A lot of wild seed has been sown there. And if you look round here, wild, come round here. And then we've got pheasant eye and that growing in here and a few I think white lion have crept into here a bit as well um, so that's the sort of results we're getting um, there's even a hyacinth shown up in the middle there I don't know where he's come from see what a hyacinth does when you just leave it I think somebody thrown out of a basket of uh, perhaps it's a mother's day about three years ago uh, but it's interesting to see and I thought you might like to see the results of what we showed you in the autumn. And it really does look colorful. If we just look across there, particularly here, we planted them nice and thick, those on the edge there, wildflower behind. We're gonna add a bit of, a uh, bit more wildflower seed into this area and try and make this a very wild area. And uh, with pheasant eye, actia, and the uh, dwarf daff here, I think it could be end up a really very very attractive area indeed there yeah, there's uh, some about bulb planting and here's a bit about the results of bulb planting and plenty to see uh, also don't forget to, i keep reminding you people if you get the chance to go to Kukanoff, go to Kukanoff in holland to see the marvelous displays of bulbs they really are absolutely fantastic so they are that's all happening on World Radio Gardening. You hear reports from the cooking off on our stream on World Radio Gardening, running 24 hours a day.